In today's video, we're gonna look at how you can change your country in the App Store. There are a few things you need to keep in mind before you're gonna be able to change your country. You're gonna need to make sure that you do not have any active subscriptions on your Apple ID, like Apple Music, Apple Arcade, or Apple One, or anything like that. You also need to not have any balance in your Apple ID account. So if you have any remaining balance, even a few cents, you're not gonna be able to change your country until you spend that money. You also need to ensure that you don't have any pre-orders or any other type of memberships connected to your Apple ID. So once you ensure that you don't have any balance on your Apple ID, you don't have any active subscriptions or any active pre-orders, we can go ahead and jump onto the iPhone and change our country. So on your iPhone, there's a couple different ways you can access the page where you can change your country or region. You can either access it through the App Store or through the settings. I'm gonna show you both of them. Let's go into the settings first and see how you would do that from there. So once you tap on settings, Go on to your Apple ID on the top to where it has your name. Just tap on that and then go into media and purchases at the bottom. And once you tap on media and purchases, it's gonna give you a few different options for your password and to view your account. So we're gonna go and click on view account. After you click on view account, you're gonna be brought to the account settings page right here. So this is the page where you would change your country and region. Let me also show you how you can access this through the app store. So once you go into the app store, you tap on the top right icon where you have your profile uh, logo and then click on your Apple ID. And then it should bring you to the same page that we had before where you have your account settings. Now we're gonna tap on country and region. And once you tap on country region, it brings you to this page where you see the button to change your country or region. So all you have to do is tap on the change country button and you have a whole list of countries here to pick from. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, uh, let's say United Kingdom. So once you tap on the country, it's gonna bring you to the terms and conditions for that country. You can go through it if you want. There's 20 pages of it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on agree and agree to the terms and conditions. I have no idea what I just agreed to, but let's go. So on this page, we're gonna be selecting the payment method, your address and stuff like that. Some of those things are required, not all of them are. You can actually skip the payment method because you don't really need to add a payment information to be able to change your country. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on none and then you select your first and last name and your address. So as you can see in the address section, some of the fields are required. So you are going to need to put in an address. So it doesn't have to be specific. You could just put in any random address. So let's just go ahead and put in a random address here. So now I've filled up the required fields. I just put in random uh, street names and addresses. So we're gonna go ahead and click on next. And there you go, now your country has been changed to United Kingdom in this case. So that's all you had to do. So you can go ahead and change your country as many times as you want. You're not really limited to being able to change your country like you are on the Android store. So if you're trying to change your country on the Android Play Store, you're only able to do it once a year. But here, you can change it as many times as you want. There's no caveat to it. So that is how you would change your country or region on your App Store. And now if we go into the App Store, go back and it's gonna load up the App Store, the UK version of the App Store, as opposed to the United States version, which we had before. So that's how you would do it. Now you're gonna be able to access any apps that were previously not available in your country and might be available in this country that you have now picked. So that's how you would change your country on your Apple ID using your iPhone. So that is how you would change your country in the App Store on your iPhone. If you found value in this video, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.